brought to you by 1AAuto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Hi, I'm Mike Green. I'm one of the owners of 1A Auto. I want to help you save time and money repairing and maintaining your vehicle. I'm going to use my 20 plus years experience restoring and repairing cars and trucks like this to show you the correct way to install parts from 1AAuto.com. The right parts installed correctly. That's going to save you time and money. Thank you and enjoy the video. In this video we're going to show you outside door handle, outside front door handle replacement on this uh, 2002 GMC Sierra, same as any Sierra, Silverado, uh, also the Yukon, Tahoe, and Suburbans. Um, this does pertain to 99 to 02, 03 and up is a little different to get the door panel off. Tools you'll need are a 7mm and 10mm socket with ratchet and extension and a flat blade screwdriver. Remove the door panel. Pull off that trim panel there. You're on these 9902s, you put a screwdriver under. Actually, you can lift it up a little bit, and you'll, if you look through, you'll be able to see a little metal tab. Press on that tab and lift up. Same thing here. Okay, that comes up and off. And then you press on a lever here to disconnect. Make sure I lock that. Disconnect there, disconnect there, use my screwdriver, get a little tab, push in and pry up on the tab at the same time. Okay, disconnect that, screwdriver, pop off your lock. Now there are two 7mm bolts, one right here, and then one down under the armrest. And I'm going to fast forward here as I remove those two 7mm bolts that hold on the door panel. And then once those are removed, just push your wires kind of through, lift your door panel up and off. And then there is a speaker lead right back here. Just press, there's a little tab. Press on the tab, pull that apart. Door panel off. Okay, so you can see I pulled my water shield down. I've got some tape on the window to make sure it stays up. And now I'm going to loosen up two bolts. 10 millimeters, one's right in there. And the other one right there. Turn your key on. Notice I've got my window hooked back up. Okay, now I can move that down. Remove this window stop right here, it's right above the speaker. And now you can let your window come. And notice I've taken the tape off the window now. Bring your window down carefully, all the way. Okay. You can actually grab onto the front of it and slide it forward. Three bolts to hold this window regulator rail in. Remove them. 
And I'll speed this up as I remove those three bolts. You have to uh, take these bolts out to get the window regulator rail out so you can move it forward and get to the nut on the door handle. Okay, now there's three bolts, one right there, okay, one, get two right in through here, one right, uh, right there, and then pry off this cap, and there's one right in there. Okay, and I'm going to fast forward again as I remove those three 10 millimeter nuts that hold the uh, door handle onto the door. Um, do your best not to drop them down on the door, but if you do drop them, you can just pull your water shield back a little more. Reach down in there and get them. Okay, now your handle's going to come out. Okay, and you can see probably right down here, there's a little clip. Reach your finger in, flip the clip off. Okay, and then push that rod you can push it off easily enough I just reached in from that side and then up here there's another clip right there reach in just use my thumb pull it off out. Pry out this clip here. Hmm. Oops. Okay. Okay. Let's pry that out. And you can work your lock cylinder out. Okay, so here's my new handle from 1A Auto. Okay, uh, this goes in this way, and like I said, the clip's already in there. So you just put it in and Press it. So you just put it in and press it in. I'm going to put the top one on. And spin this around. And lock it on. Slip that in there. Lock one, push it in, okay, it's in, put our clip right down and lock it on. And you'll notice I took a chance while it was off to clean up around the door handle actually put a coat of wax on it too. And what you saw me do there is I put the nut into the socket, then fed it in there and started it. And now I'm just going to fast forward as I start the other two and then I tighten them up with my ratchet. And you want to tighten them up snug, but you don't want to over tighten them. Test to make sure it closes and opens. You want to do that soft because you don't have your window wall in place yet. Okay, fast forward here as I rehang and then bolt in that um, window regulator rail with the three bolts. And same thing when you tighten this up, you want to make sure it's tight, nice and firm, but you don't want to over tighten the bolts. And you kind of want to window, lift it back up. Right up, bring it through 
here. Carefully slide it up into place. Ensure that it's in the right spot. Now we can put this stop back in. And we'll use the fast forward button again as we just uh, replace that window stop or the guide and put the 10 millimeter bolt in and tighten it up again nice and snug. Don't over tighten. Turn the key back on and first make sure your window is all the way up nice and tight into your weather strip. Then run the regulator up. Okay. And these go back up in place. Now tighten up these two bolts. Okay, put your water shield back up in place and then disconnect your switch plate again. Don't forget to put that access plug back on. Okay, put your door panel back on. That through there. Okay, right down here you can see the tab in the door. So it rests like that on those two tabs. And now you can reconnect your speaker. And put it back on that clip. Okay, make sure the wires are and Push the door panel on and down. And a little fast forward again as I just uh, put those two 7mm bolts in that hold the door panel on. Reconnect these harnesses. And I kind of surprised myself here as I connect it. Um, since I hit the door locks, the truck must have thought that I was trying to steal it as I reconnected. Uh, the switch plate, so it just took me a second to find the keys, turn the truck on, and stop the alarm from going off. That's interesting. We hope this helps you out. Brought to you by www.1aauto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Please feel free to call us toll free 888-844-3393. We're the company that's here for you on the internet and in person.